All right, guys, let's go take on Vanessa once and for all. Welcome back, everybody. Thanatos Cairo here. Today, I'm bringing you another episode of Octopath Traveler. Now, I know I haven't been uploading much from my other Let's Plays these days, like Zero Mission or my upcoming Let's Plays that I plan to do after Zero Mission. But with Octopath Traveler 2 being essentially right around the corner, and with Octopath Traveler itself going meh, being a long game that'll take ages for me to complete to completely let's play, I'm unfortunately going to have to put my episodes on a hiatus for my other let's play so I can really focus on Octopath Traveler and finish it before Octopath Traveler 2 comes out, so that way I can play it for you guys blind as soon as it comes out. But anyway, enough with the rambling. We are finally ready to take on Vanessa. Before we do that, though, I'm just going to quickly heal my party because Christ traversing to this cave was devastating to say the least. All right. Looks like we're all healed now. The only thing left to do is to go start that story. So let's begin, shall we? Harvest myself some glowworm moss. Can't keep my well paying patients waiting. <laughs> oh, to think this moss would bring me a king's ransom. You bitch. Who'd have known this job could be so profitable? I'm not really sure that's the point of being an apothecary, Vanessa. Howdy, Vanessa. Fancy meeting you here. Ah, Alfin, always with the very chipper greetings. Nice to see you around. <laughs> so you sniffed out my supply, huh? Well, you're not as stupid as you look. Really, now? That medicine you gave the townspeople for their fevers was brewed from Gabora Evergreen, wasn't it? <laughs> that was your plan all along. To induce the side effects so you could sell the remedy at a premium. Alvin's being oddly non-confrontational about this whole thing. <laughs> you catch on quick. He's not being very aggressive. I travel the land selling my potions and salves for more leaves than you'll see in a lifetime. What do lay folk know of illnesses and their cures? Nothing. That's what makes this job so easy. Doesn't really give you the right to take advantage of them. If it weren't for rival apothecaries like you. Damn right if it weren't for rival apothecaries like Alfin. What happened to your sworn duty to ease suffering? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Here's some advice, little puppy. Don't trust anything you can get for free. A stately mansion, lavish dresses, fine wine. Why shouldn't everything I want be mine? Because it's coming at the cost of other people's lives. You're free to have what you want. But I won't let you deceive the weak and vulnerable to get it. See, Alfin's got the right of it. Using your knowledge to inflict pain for profit? You're a disgrace to our profession. I know Alfin's trying to be aggressive here, but the tone of his voice just kind of makes it impossible. Unfortunately, it makes it really hard to take this guy seriously if you're trying to go up against him. Doesn't it make you feel anything to see people suffer? <laughs> Should it? The ailing, the injured... They're tools to an end. Just like the little kittens I test my tonics on. And of course, as if all the things you've done weren't enough, you test your tonics on kittens. Fucking kittens! As if I needed more reason to cut you down where you stand. They bring me leaves by the bucket. And when they've outlived their usefulness, they die. Do you cry when you toss away a broken flask? Well then, why should I? <laughs> Psychopath. Unfortunately for you, there's no cure for a rotten heart. Oh, 
So you don't care for my philosophy? Gotta say, not really. Perhaps you'd care to die instead, hmm? My ample wealth has allowed me to secure good insurance. You're a threat to my business, and you don't seem like the type to go home quietly. Or the type to keep your mouth shut, even if you did. You're God's damned right I won't. On the contrary, I'm gonna brew a remedy and help those people. Not for profit, but because easing people's suffering is what I do. How noble. But here's my diagnosis. That shabby sense of justice will prove fatal. All right, it's boss fight time. Vanessa's being protected by her hired help, but we should have no problem taking them down. All right, it's a battle against Vanessa. We're up against two cell swords, and of course Vanessa herself in the back. Let's try to use wind, considering it's Therion's only AoE attack he has so far. All right, nobody's weak to wind, but Vanessa is. Unfortunately, we can't get to her weaknesses yet. Doesn't look like Vanessa's all too powerful in the physical strength department, but we've yet to see in everything she's capable of. So we should keep our guard up. Alright, looks like Vanessa's weak to spears, but again, because she's being protected, we can't really access those weaknesses yet. Let's check out the cell swords. The cell swords are weak to swords. Bring it on! Alright. Let's use another level slash then to help bring them down. Alright, they're down to four shields each. Wow, they're strong. Alright, looks like we might have to do things with Therion here to bring that damage down to manageable levels. Is there anything we can do? Therion has access to Shackle Foe, but I don't know if Hanit does, but if she does, we're going to be using that too. Alright. <laughs> Let's bring their physical defense, uh, not physical defense, physical attack down. Alright, looks like Hanit has Shackle Foe too. Alright, so now hopefully they won't be doing much... Phew! It actually looks like that came just in time, because it looks like Vanessa just whipped up a concoction to increase everybody's physical attack. Alright, so it looks like they're back down to normal levels now. Alright, is there anything I can do? I've got some things that I might like to use. Alright. Don't think any of my concoctions are going to help me here, but I really don't want to take on five consecutive attacks from the opposing team. No. So I'll defend with Ulbrick and Alfin. Hopefully they'll be able to sustain some damage. Alright, nice. Alright. I'm going to take this time to heal with Alfin. Or we could break one of the cell swords. Actually, we could have broken we could have broken both of the cell swords. All right. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to do, live with breaking just one. Let's break the one on the right there. What's the big idea? Oh, Alfin's poisoned, but thankfully, because of his endure support skill, his defenses will be up for a little bit. All right. Let's break this other cell sword here. Looks like we decrease this physical defense. That'll make it all the more easier for Hanit to take advantage of that with a true strike. 2805, and it looks like they're weak to bows as well. Alright, what else can we do? Nothing much, it looks like. Can we steal? Nah, it doesn't look like we have much of a chance to steal. Alright, looks like I'm going to cure Alphen of his poison with an herb of healing. Using this. And we are we definitely go. going to have to heal Hanit. Alright, let's take a Soothing Seed, mix it with Essence of Grape, Try that'll this. give her a thousand HP. Which should keep her alive for now. Alright, what can Therion do? Should we take our chance with Collect? No. Better for you, Shacklefoe. Alright, let's get this one down. Let's get this guy down. Alright. And I'm going to boost Ulbrich's defense slightly, so I hopefully he'll not. be able to save damage for the other party members. Let's see. Ah, oh, looks like we've been sweeped twice. No. Ulbrich won't be able to sustain damage for group attacks, but... At least he sustained quite a bit less damage than he would have otherwise. Alright, Therion's moving next. Alright, let's see, do I have an item? I'll use a Healing Grape Bunch. 
And then Therion can use his way. turn to use Shacklefo on the other Cell Sword. <laughs> we can't do much with Vanessa for now. Ugh. Bring it on. Cocked explosive looks to be pretty devastating, but its animation might be intimidating, but it doesn't look like it took much damage from that. Even so, I really don't want to take the chance. Alright, let's use a level slash and then Hot can follow up with an arrow storm. Letting the hunt begin it. A well, that was unfortunate. I didn't do many attacks, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, looks like we're getting you Shackleford again here on this cell sword. Thank you, incidental attack. Oh, how I fell asleep. Ow! God, that did a lot of damage. And that was fast, too. Alright, let's use another arrow storm here. Let's take care of the rest of the cell swords. Alright, we're going to use Ulbrich's turn to, to poison Vanessa here. We might not be able to get her to weaknesses, but this is the best we're going to be doing for now. Alphen to sleep. And Ulbrich doesn't have access to rehabilitate. So, we're going to use an Herb of Awakening to wake him up. Alright, let's see what we can steal from the Cell Sword here. An Herb of Healing. Alright. Let's see what we can collect from the Cell Sword. 800 leaves. Always appreciated. Alright, is there anything I can do? I'll heal the party. Try this. Healing Mist never fails. Vanessa's moving next. Alright, doesn't seem to be too bad. Both of the Cell Swords are back in play, and unfortunately they don't have Shackle Foe applied to them right now. I'm going to heal the party again. Thankfully, we bought a bunch of healing items. So we won't have to worry about running out of them for quite a long time. Alright, so anything Therion can do? Not much, actually. Can't collect from the other Cell Swords, so... We'll just use Shacklefo. <laughs> Shacklefo is paying us in dividends right now. It's honestly doing much more than I thought it would. Alright, let's use a level slash here. Alright, let's see. I'm going to have Therion use a level 3 armor corrosive. That'll bring the Cell Sword's physical defense down for two turns. No, not two turns. Apologies, six turns. Alright, looks like Vanessa just concocted more physical attack boosting concoctions. Alright, let's see. Let's use Aerostorm here. There we go. Alright, that's just what I wanted. Alright, let's have Ulbrich use Abide. Bring it on. And let's have Alfin use Abide. I'll save my strength. These cell swords won't know what hit them. Alright, let's use Armor Corrosive here. I see. Ugh, Ulbrich's Witchery. poison. We don't have time to worry about that right now. We got the cell swords to deal with. Here we go. All right, let's use a cross strike. Cross strike. Forty-seven, forty-three. All right, now it's Ulbrich's turn. Forty-five, ninety-three. Always nice to see. We'll take damage from poison, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. All right, let's collect from the cell sword now. Hundred leaves for us. Bring it on. All right, I'm gonna heal the party again. Try this. There we go. We'll keep everyone in good condition. Uh. Nothing uh, Ulbrich can do about his poison right now, but I'll give him a Merb of healing. It'll calm him down this. for a bit. Let's Hanit needs more SP, so through. what better way to get access to that than with a steel SP that Hanit unfortunately can't use right now? All right, that sucks. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to use. I'm gonna use an Inspiriting Plum Basket. Using Everyone this. could use extra SP. Here. Nice dodge, Therion. 
Something's gonna fall asleep. It's Alphan, it's always Alphan, I can't believe that. Alright, let's take this cell sword down. Alright, broken again. I'm going to use Armor Corrosive. I want to see if Hanit can get any SP out of him. Not much, but hopefully it'll be something. Looks like I'm going to have to heal the party again. Oh well. Alright, let's get some SP out here. Six? Well, that's unfortunate. But Vanessa is now defenseless. Alright, let's heal the party one more time. Alright, now all that's left to do is uncover Vanessa's weaknesses. We know she's weak to spears, and also... Wind. Alright. She weak to daggers, possibly. Alright, Vanessa's not weak to daggers. Perhaps axes? Alright, Vanessa is weak to axes, and possibly bows too, but I don't really think so. Alright. There's nothing we can do for now. I'm going to empoison Vanessa. There we go. What next? Alright. Vanessa might not be weak to daggers, but we can still get some SP out of her. That'll give us 17. Ugh. Ah, now looks like Vanessa's bringing out the physical attacks. Alright, looks like we can... Yeah, looks like we're going to abide with Alphen. I'm going to donate BP with Darion. Here you go. What's the big idea? Again with Alfin being the one always the target of Vanessa's concoctions. Alright. Let's use I'm gonna save Armor Corrosive for next turn. Victory shall be mine. And Ulber can use a buy too. Come in. If thou darest. Alright. Let's use Armor Corrosive. Make it defenseless. Ugh. Concoct explosive is always so scary. Because the animation is quite terrifying. I'm gonna have Alvin rehabilitate himself. Therion or Ulbor can break Vanessa anyway. There we go. Alright, looks like Ulbricht's in prime position for a fully powered cross strike. 48-34. Let's see what Therion can do with a fully powered HP thief. About 3600 damage, always appreciated. Alright, let's have Hanit do a fully powered true strike. 30-27. Now let's have Alvin finish it off with a cross strike. 5000 damage. Victory shall be Vanessa's won. almost done. Hana could use some healing. Alright, and that'll keep her good for a bit longer. Concoct restorative. Oh, you've got to be shitting me! Ah, uh, the cell swords are back with full HP? God damn it. Alright, looks like our problems have just doubled, unfortunately. No, actually, yeah, you know what? They've doubled. <laughs> Because I'm going to assume that two cell swords are about as potent as one Vanessa is, so uh, quick maths, everybody. All right, I honestly don't have time for this Vanessa, so I'm just going to collect from you and be done with it. I'll take that. Thank you for the twelve thousand leaves. Here goes nothing. And I'm just going to brute force my way through you. Let my arrow fly in true. The Come on, you've got to be almost dead. Here goes nothing. All right, so anything I can do right now? Not really. Can we concoct anything? We do have a bit of injurious dust. Let's concoct a fiery plume. Nobody's weak to fire except Vanessa. All right. All right. Hopefully this will finish Vanessa off. I appreciate it. Really? It did not, but Therion did get a ton of, of SP. As long as Vanessa is alive, she can keep summoning back her cell swords. That's the last thing you want to happen. I'm just going to brute force my way through her until she's down. 
coming if thou darest. Mana could use more SP here. Alright, 19. The battle is truly joined. Alright, let's have Ulbrich use a level 4 cross strike. Come on. Alright, we're low on HP here, so I'm gonna have Therion give everybody a healing great bunch. There we go. Oh, finally. Alvin wasn't the one who suffered this time. Alright, let's see, is anybody weak to ice? This is my last injurious dust. How do you like this? The cell swords are weak to ice, but unfortunately I think that's the only time we're gonna be able to use that. Hanat's gonna wake up. Alright, let's try to get Vanessa down again. There we go! Alright, now all we have to do is deal with the cell swords. I will cut you down! This should be a pretty straightforward process. All I have to do is have Hanit use Aerostorm. Alright, looks like the party could use some more BP here. I'm going to concoct Soothing Dust with Essence of Pomegranate. That'll give everybody an extra BP. Alright. What else can we do? I will have Hanit use a level 2 Armor Corrosive on Make one Cell Sword. Bring it on. And I'll wait for Therion to use that same move next turn on the other Cell Sword. For now, though, let's donate BP to. Actually, you know what? The only one who needs BP here is Therion. Do I have anything that might help there? I'll give him an Energizing Pomegranate. That'll give him an extra BP. All right. Anybody needs healing? I'll give it. I'll give the healing to Therion. All right. He's full right now on both HP and SP. That's great. Okay. Let's have Ulbrich use Abide along with Alfin. You know what? This might be a great time to use Hired Help. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so what can we do? Hanit can use... Yeah, you know what? I'll go with that. Alright, let's use a level 4 Mercenary on these Cell Swords here. One, two, three, four. Alright, that's four sword attacks on all the Cell Swords, or rather both of them. And we also get eight turns of extra physical defense. Alright, I'm gonna heal the party with Alfin here. And I'll have Hanit use another level two armor corrosive. Alright, I'll have Alfin use Abide here. Let's see, what can Therion do? Let's have Theron use a bow. Alright, Ulbrich can use level slash. And Hanuk can break Let the other self sword. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to use a level 4 true strike on one of them. Let's see if Therion can't clean up with a steel SP. That'll be about 2,000. Alright, let's have Alfin use a cross strike cross on one strike. cell sword. And Ulbrich will use a cross strike on the other. Alright, one of the cell swords is gone. There's just one left. That extra physical defense is going Victory to help us quite a bit throughout the fight. Let's have Ulbrich use an Inspiriting Plum. We're in the home stretch now. Alright, let's have Hanit use Rain of Arrows. Alright, that was great work. Out of my way. Alright, looks like Hanit needs some SP now too, so let's give Hanit an Inspiriting Plum. Here we go. Alright, there's not much to do left. One last cross strike. One last abide. And that'll be all she wrote. All right, there we go. Here goes nothing. We're almost done. No. I 
Alright, this should be the end of the fight. There we go, 5,778 damage, and the fight is over. We've officially beaten to Vanessa. And we get 500 XP too. And also 360 JP. Perfect for everybody to learn one new skill, except for maybe Alfin. But, you know, we'll cross our bridge when we get to it. Damn it all. I paid good coin for them. The game's up. I'll be taking this mouse now. And I've alerted the guards. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn yourself in. Alright, you've got me. I repent. I repent. Hmm. Sussed out your escape route already? <laughs> I'm not as naive as I look. Now listen here. I brought a special treat just for you. This isn't good. Wait, that's Now then. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd recognize it. Slumberthorn, the most powerful sleep-inducing substance in the realm. One prick, and the next thing you'll know, you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor. <laughs> Maybe one day, you can start over as a real apothecary, if they ever let you out. You, you'll pay for this, you stupid, naive... Now then. Huh, looks like Vanessa's the one that fell asleep this time. Now I'll keep her quiet until the guards come. Now I'll just help myself to some of this moss. All right. That'll do her. Hold tight, Flynn. I'm on my way. Huh, thankfully you didn't have to make the trek back. All we have to do now is make for Ellen's home. Alright, let's see what travel banter. We've got on offer here. This one is Alphen and no. Therion. What do you intend to do about that woman? Vanessa? I reckon I'll let her stew and gal and ponder all she's done. Gal or no, she doesn't strike me as the type to turn introspective. Maybe, maybe not. But I figure she's tossing and turning something fierce right about now. What do you mean? See, Slumberthorn has other effects. Less well known. It can prick a person's... It can prick a person's conscience, for example. If there's something in your heart you'd rather avoid, it'll come out in your sleep instead, as a nightmare. That's right, how she'll deal with that when she wakes up is up to her. But I warrant she is having second thoughts about what she did. Well, I hope so. Why, for my sake? Just be careful, alright? Alphen's quite a badass, if I do say so myself. Holy shit. Literally gave Vanessa nightmares. I reckon that's payback enough. Before I go to Ellen's, though, I'm gonna rest up the party. We've got quite a bit of money now, as you can see. And it looks like Therion's developing a bit of heart, might I say. Perhaps a bit of compassion? Maybe he's becoming a bit less of a lone wolf. <sighs> well, how are you feeling now? Um... Better. Oh my! Her cough, it's gone. My throat, it doesn't hurt anymore. Good to hear it. You saved my daughter's life. How can I even begin to repay you? It's on the house. The moss didn't cost me anything, after all. <laughs> How could I have been so wrong? You were the truth apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. No skin off my nose. Your girl's healthy again. 
And that's all that matters to me. Thanks. Thank you, Alfin. Finally, I can go gather seashells with Ellen again. <laughs> go have all the fun you want. Be safe here. And with that, I'd best be off. There are other people out there who need this medicine. And once I've done my job, and everyone in gold chore is hale and hearty, it'll be time to hit the road again. See ya. So we meet again. Hey, thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever, ever so much. Now then. Where out there is someone in need of a fixer-upper? Elfin! Oh, Ellen. Flynn. I'm surprised Alvin wasn't scared by that. Aw, oh, we were trying to surprise you! You're already looking a hundred percent, ain't you, Flynn? I'm all better now, thanks to you. Wow, it sure looks like the work of an apothecary sure takes effect fast. Nowadays, you'd have to wait at least two hours before a drug takes effect. But what's this? Have you two been rolling around in the dirt all day? For you. Wowzers, seashells, and scores of them. We found them together, Flynn and me. Thank you for helping us, Elfin. Take care, okay? Shucks. We found as many as we could. We know you're poor. Is this going to be enough? I reckon it'll keep me fed for a while. You didn't have to. You all take care of your mother now, you hear? Did I just hear Alfin's voice breaking? Is he? No! He's crying! Alfin's crying! No, Alfin, you know you're not supposed to cry in front of little kids. They can be so cruel when they sense weakness. Grown-ups aren't supposed to cry! <laughs> Even grown-ups need a good cry from time to time. Oh, Alfin. Stay healthy for me, will ya? You too, Alfin. And off Alfin goes. Who knows where his adventures will you take him next. Too. Oh, not Ellen too. <sighs> now you're crying too. You were always my hero. An unreachable ideal. But heck if I ain't getting closer by the day. So Alfin bid farewell to Goldshore, more convinced than ever of his chosen path. Though his travels had only just begun, one town was already happier for his presence. And so he set forth for Saint's Bridge in the Riverlands, eager to see what his journey had in store. And that'll be it for Alphans Chapter 2. And unfortunately, that's also going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this very heart-touching episode of Octopath Travel, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the next episode, or perhaps next battle compilation, considering we'll have to 
make the trek back from Goldshore all the way to Stoneguard, where we can take on Hunt Chapter 2. And then after Stoneguard, it's going to be a long walk back to Swarky so we can make it to Victor's Hollow in the Woodlands. But that's a story for another video. In the meantime, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, have a great day and take care.